remember your first dog? Mine was a brown and black German Shepherd puppy. To me, he was the cutest pup in the whole world, and I called him Darcy. Oh boy, did he have a lot of puppy fun with me and my family. But not long after we got him home, he stopped eating, so we rushed him to the vet, only to be told the worst news possible, Darcy had caught parvo virus and he was dying. I remember clearly standing in the vet, holding my dad's hand when they brought Darcy out to see us. He looked sad and frail. When I called his name, Darcy's face lit up and his tail wagged and he looked at me with a big happy smile. I thought he was getting better, but the vet said, no, he hasn't got much time to live. Later that night, we got that dreaded phone call. I ran outside to where Darcy's kennel was. The strange feeling of sadness came over me, tears streaming down my cheeks. I climbed inside Darcy's kennel and cried. I found out later that the one thing that could have saved Darcy from the virus was to get him vaccinated. It was a hard lesson to learn as a little boy in love with his first puppy. The world we live in is infected with a deadly virus. It's killing millions and millions worldwide. I'm not talking about the common flu virus. I'm talking about something called sin. The Bible describes sin as disobedience of God's life principles. It's because we have disobeyed these life principles that we open ourselves up to experiencing pain, suffering, sickness, and ultimately death. Is there a vaccine for our disobedience? The Bible says the result of disobeying God's life principles is death. Well, that sounds final. It also continues the thought by saying, but the gift of God is life through Jesus. You see, there is a remedy, a vaccine, and it's a gift to you. I don't know what you're going through. Maybe your struggles in life are truly unbearable. The pain, the sorrow, the guilt, the regrets, are they weighing you down? I remember when my dad was on his dying bed. My older brother sat next to him and said, Dad, forgive me for everything that I have done wrong to you and mum. My dad's words were, son, I forgave you a long time ago. All these years, my brother carried this burden of guilt, not knowing that he was already forgiven. The Bible says, Blessed is he whose transgressions is forgiven, whose sins is covered. You see, you are blessed when your wrongs are forgiven. It's like a heavy burden being lifted off you. You feel free and a sense of peace settles down deep in your heart. This is a hope that brings you comfort, knowing that even though you don't acknowledge God, He still loves you and that everything already has been done to help you and me, even before we accept him into our lives. Just like our first puppy, we didn't get him to the vet in time, but while you have breath in you, there is still time to receive God's vaccine, which is found in discovering Jesus. And the best way to discover Jesus is to do something very simple, Pick up the Bible and read it. Everything you need are between its pages. <laughs>